Giga Texas is 93% done, and we now know which factory is the biggest. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. A quick thanks to the newest Patreon, Puppy Horde. Thank you for your support. And please smack the like button early so YouTube knows to actually show this videos to others. It is free and appreciated. This week, we're going to look at the actual size of Giga Texas as seen from space and compare it to Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin, and Fremont. And if you stick around to the end, who knows, maybe some others. We knew it was big, but this really puts it in perspective. Before we get to that, think about which one you think is the biggest. Not just in terms of the main building, but when including additional buildings as well. Between Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin, and Giga Texas, which one is the biggest and which one is the smallest? The big news this week is that the steelwork for the Giga Factory Texas Phase 1 is done. Totally done. Let's look at the progress graph, which is, you know, surely going to get pretty quiet from here out, and see what it looks like. Yeah, the site prep finished quite a while ago, as did the foundations, and this week, the third of the five elements has similarly reached 100%. There will be no more updates on site prep, foundation, or framework since, you know, they're all done. This puts the site's overall progress at 93%. And while new viewers may look at that number and call me crazy, the subscribers who have been watching for almost a year now understand how accurate it likely is. Each of the five key elements is monumental in complexity or importance, and most of them are now entirely complete. And to the waning few commenters out there who say it's only 50% done or 70% done, well... I guess come back in a few weeks when we start seeing cars produced out on the lot to help me understand how such a gigantic jump was possible in such a short amount of time. The roof only has a small section, still requiring the first layer of decking, with the remainder well complete and surely undercounted. This is an element I will revise for future trackers, but safer to undercount than overcount at least on this one, in my opinion. The interior is just plain screaming along. These count over 17 weeks from dry-in, which is why it's only 76%, despite almost the entire site being walled off. This will be the slow element that keeps us from hitting 100% in this calendar year, even with a trial production already underway. There are regular comments suggesting the interior is overcounted, since we can see so much of the building, especially in the southwest corner, isn't being outfitted with production equipment, while others say it's undercounted, since that area has likely been bumped to phase two. Well, there's value in both of these positions, and I'm comfortable coming down in the middle between them. So, before we get to the weekly sitemap, let's go to the part that's by far the most interesting. Let's look at all the factories from space to decide for ourselves which one's the biggest. Reddit user u slash branddude87 periodically puts these amazing satellite comparisons out that show the current size of the various factories, and that is what we're going by. So let's start with Giga Berlin. Yeah, it's a massive building with a couple of extra buildings. Anyone who saw the footage from the recent open house already knows this. The footprint is impressive, with a lot of room to expand, but the building is mostly on a single floor. So let's compare that to Giga Texas, which looks like this. It's bigger. Giga Texas has a bigger footprint and it's only 24% single floor. I know I've seen tweets suggesting the floor area is larger in Berlin, but if you still believe that after looking at these two images side by side, I'd love to hear from you in the comments with an explanation of how that's possible, because I can't square that circle. 
Now let's look at Giga Shanghai, including its phases two and two and a half. That's big. That's a, a lot bigger than I realized. It might have a footprint larger than Texas. These areas are almost entirely one floor, but most of the rest of the buildings are two to three floors. So that would put Giga Berlin in third place, Giga Shanghai narrowly in second by floor area, and Giga Texas probably in first place, though it's really tough to tell from this altitude. Let me know in the comments how that lines up with your guess from earlier. So let's look at the site map for this week and go from there. This is what Giga Texas looks like as of November 22nd, 2021. And let's roll it back to December 14th of last year when this tracker first launched and go through it as we do week of a week. To understand the site map, this is the overall footprint of the main building. The orange is the footings, with the darker orange being heavier footings. The gray is the framing work, with the darker gray indicating roof sections. In blue, you see the finished interior closed off space, with darker blue indicating more floors. Yes, we track the floors. So the darker the blue, the more floors that there are. The black lines indicate a firewall or expansion joint, with the heavier black lines indicating a concrete wall. And as a reminder, this only tracks the main emerald footprint, not any of the other projects around the site, since we haven't seen permits and we don't know what their eventual size and scope will be. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. So there it is, and there you go. As of November 22nd, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of Yo Saba Truck, is 93% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 527 days from groundbreaking on or about December 30th of this very year. It will obviously be done in some capacity well before then, and also not completely done until sometime quite a bit later, as more of the areas inside the factory come online. I guess it's all a matter of how you personally decide to count it as complete. So yes, for real, there's basically another 38 days left, assuming we don't account for the long tail of interior work. How do you feel about that? 38 more days. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified. Follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast and a smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your wisdom and suggestions in the comments below. And as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the production side of this very quarter. And a quick thank you to my amazing gracious Patreons who get early access, a bonus content, an ad-free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. Yeah, I move the shout out to the end as a thank you to all of you for your generosity and support, which helps me avoid having to pander to YouTube's dreaded and painful algorithm. And a thank you guys all so much. And as an added thank you to those of you who stuck it out until the end, here's a bonus for you. A close-up of all the various Tesla factories uh, side by side in glorious 4K. That's, you know, that's your prize for making it all the way through the maze. You guys earned it. I mean, it'd be rude of me not to offer it. <laughs>